Flowers are all around us, yet we often take them for granted. From our childhoods, through our entire lives, flowers have the power to evoke emotions within us. From romance and passion, to sadness and tragedy. But flowers did not evolve to please our sensibilities. They evolved as advertisements for animals, and particularly insects, which are attracted to the flowers by colourful petals that announce rewards of honey-sweet nectar or other edible baits. While collecting nectar, the animal visitor gets pollen on its body and legs and so transfers the pollen when visiting the next flower or searching for more nectar. This transfer of pollen between flowers of the same species fertilizes the blooms and enables reproduction to take place. At least a quarter of a million species of flowering plants have been discovered and named so far, producing blooms in every color of the rainbow, as well as black and white. Many flowers also have patterns that reflect ultraviolet light. Our eyes cannot detect UV, but the eyes of many insects can. As a result, the blooms of flowers may be even more striking to pollinating insects than we can see. When photographed with a UV camera, we get a glimpse of these secret UV patterns. The diversity of flowers on Earth is remarkable. Flowers range from giant blooms that tower over three meters tall to cushions of minute flowers that are each just a few millimeters across. But the size, shape and colors of the flowers of each species of plant is not random. Each flower is often highly specialized to attract particular pollinators. This is because pollen is expensive for the plant to make and it would be wasted if it was transported to a flower of a different species of plant. So many plants have very specialized partnerships, sometimes with just a single species of pollinator. This has given rise to a world of unusual flower forms, from the kangaroo paw plant, which produces long and tubular flowers, to the exotic bird of paradise flower, said to resemble the birds of paradise from New Guinea. Many plants have evolved flowers that resemble shapes and objects that we may recognize, such as the monkey face orchids, dancing lady orchids, and naked man orchids. There is even an ice cream flower, which belongs to the ginger family, and the bizarre hot lips flower. These likenesses are purely coincidental, and it's hardly surprising that some flowers bear likenesses to shapes that we recognize considering that there are over 250,000 species of flowering plants worldwide. Plants use contrasting shapes, colors, and patterns to stand out from their surroundings to attract pollinators, such as this passion flower. The more contrasting the flower, often the more efficiently it may attract pollinators. But some flowers don't just rely on color and patterns. These are trigger plants, so-called because when a pollinator visits the flower, the stamen flicks forward, loading the pollinator with pollen. Other flowers are more mysterious. And this is Taka, the bat plant. It produces these really weird flowers that have these bracts that look just like bat wings. And the flowers are very complicated, and still relatively little is known about their pollination mechanism. They resemble rotting leaf litter, and certainly they do attract insects that are attracted to rotting leaves. But the flowers also bend over as they age, and it's been suggested that these long thread-like tendrils, these long bits here, these act as ladders that come down and rest on the ground and allow ants and beetles to climb up and pollinate these weird little flowers here in the middle.
Many groups of plants produce flowers that have a particular structure, such as the arum lily family, also known as aroids. These flowers all have a common shape, consisting of a pointy spadex surrounded by a colorful spathe that serves the function of a petal. Aroids come in all shapes and sizes, but they all have the same basic design. From giant amorphophallus flowers to the really bizarre Pseudohydrosma gabonensis. The 200 or so species of Heliconia also share a common structure. They produce little flowers that emerge from colorful bracts that come in a wide range of colors, shapes, and sizes. Some species even have scapes covered in hairs, such as this one, known as the donkey tail heliconia. Individual flowers are beautiful, but occasionally rainfall can trigger millions upon millions of flowers to bloom together. These mass flowerings are known as super bloom events and can transform entire landscapes into color. The mass blooming may only last a few weeks or even days, but they must surely be among the most impressive displays in the entire floral kingdom, and all just to attract pollinators.